Welcome back. Let's go ahead and actually start our lighting in this uh, lesson. So it's not going to be really complicated lighting because we're going to be using global illumination to uh, sort of light our scene. Uh, and this is a really uh, great and useful method because in a few seconds it gives you such amazing uh, results. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is to uh, create a sky object. And then I'm going to my content browser. There are some HDRIs in the prime materials HDRI folder. Now, because it's an interior scene, I, I use this interior HDRI. Uh, and uh, I use this one because I want to make sure that you have it. So let's just uh, double click on this. Now, this material has been added, as you can see. And I can simply apply this to my sky object. And also, I'm going to apply a compositing tag to this sky object and make sure it's not going to be seen by the camera. And let's go to our render settings. And I'm going to add the global illumination. Let's go to lights mapping. I'm just going to decrease the settings a bit so we have a quicker render here. That's great. Let's actually activate ambient occlusion. And I think we are ready to uh, have a render and see uh, what we get, basically. It's going to take some time, but hopefully it's going to be nice. Okay, now we're talking. As you can see, the scene is quite different from what we had before, and it's really, really, really nice. Uh, just uh, there is a problem. As you can see, uh, even though the floor is really reflective, uh, but we can't see the reflection of these balls uh, on our floor. So we have to do something about it. Let me go to my materials and sort of go to these small icons actually change this to material list and let's go to this maybe medium icons I'm going to unduck so we kind of see what's going on here great now uh, we have if I go to this hierarchy you can see this material uh, this one has been applied to the entire uh, geometries and walls and furnitures and we want to kind of have a bit more materials so let me just uh, go there and what I'm gonna do just let me close up this stuff here here we go now I want to uh, have a reflective material on my floor and on this table and the rest would be just that uh, simple material okay so we're gonna go to actually control drag this material and name it floor and table so Okay, and I'm just going to enable the reflection here and let's go to something like maybe 30. And as you can see, the floor is quite, refle quite reflective and also blurry. So let's go to something like 10% here. And now what I want to do is to apply this material to the floor. Okay, you can see uh, this material uh, this guy hasn't any material so I have to control drag this one because I want to save the same texture tag settings and drag this material onto this material so now it has saved and let's go ahead and uh, the table also needs the same material so I'm gonna just control drag and put this onto my table now hopefully what we should be seeing is this guys should be working better and this cushion here I kinda wanna go there and adjust it a bit so let's go and see what we can do I'm going to make it a bit bigger maybe something like this definitely feels better okay great um, now let's 
go ahead and what we're gonna be doing is just to take a render and see how the results uh, are doing uh, we now should have a quite reflective room and uh, that should be kind of what we want and the other stuff shouldn't be reflective at all let's see what we have hopefully we can see the reflections of the balls uh, of in our floor uh, yeah yeah we're there look at this reflections here and that's quite nice and natural look at this guys reflections this cubicle shapes and it's a bit hard to see the reflection but you can see here you can quite easily see the reflection and that is what we uh, want basically it's quite nice we are there it's great now uh, I think this is just enough for our lighting maybe we can add some more additional light because uh, if we really need but we really don't need we have HDRI turn on because this texture has been applied uh, in the camera mapping method so now this uh, colors all the colors in this room has effects on our lighting and we get quite a nice and natural lighting in our scene and that is very very nice now in our next section we're gonna start adding our second dynamic simulation which is gonna be the uh, bag and uh, if I can get it you can see uh, this part where it, look at this bags full of stuff and then the big logo comes out and we have it down here and now we're going to be doing this part in our next uh, lesson and uh, after that it's going to be a kind of quite a hard part this uh, bag uh, we kind of do a part of the modeling uh, and if it's necessary because it's a uh, kind of uh, it's not really easy to model this in uh, this short amount of time that we have and we do the dynamic simulation as you can see dynamic simulation is quite uh, nice look at that uh, the box is full, nothing moving, the logo comes out and it's really hard to get there and I'm not sure when we can recreate that again or not because uh, there's a lot of thing going on and it's really not easy to uh, get exactly what we have here but we will be trying to hopefully uh, do that and uh, yes, uh, so in this lesson we basically uh, used an 